Hi, good morning everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to show you some pretty flowers while we wait for everyone to join. <laughs> I love when everything starts blooming out here. Good morning, Deb. Hey, Jordan. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Kristen. Good morning. Good morning, Liz. I had text Deb this morning and I was like, you know what? I just think it's going to be the pattern now on Mondays, my rehab day, because we still have so many of them and so many of them need so much right now. Hey, Dawn. That on Mondays, there's a very good chance that I will be doing later in the morning lives pretty much from here on out. So, especially once we get into storm season, if we've still got a lot of bobcats, you usually have to get that kind of stuff done first thing in the morning or you get rained out by the evening. Hey Chris, hey Kathy. Hey Bella, thanks for tagging Cassie. Good morning, Chad. So. Everybody spread the word on that. Good morning, Kathy. Hi, Austin. We are gonna most likely always have later in the morning lives on Mondays. There's a Lily. Hi, Alethea. Have you been communicating with Nala? I was gonna check in with Nala. You guys know that we moved Nala out to the new serval area along the lakeside and what used to be Big Cat Outback. Hi Elaine, good morning. So I'm gonna let you guys share this, tag each other. Alert people that we are live. Also this gives our West Coasters a little bit of time. Good morning Bree. If I go live too early, they miss it. And forgive me, I am sniffly today because I was just out in rehab and something must be blooming out there that just tore me up. I've sneezed like 45 times. <laughs> good morning, Anne. She's like, good night. Oh, Alethea. You crack me up. You crack me up. Good morning, Lee. Good morning, Val. Thank you so much for sharing, Chris. So today was the first day of Panicure. So that means that everybody got a diet this morning, just a little bit smaller and had some, maybe some ickiness to it, but I think it went well from what I heard. Good morning, Susan. Hey, Susan. Hi, Maria. Good morning, Ellen. Thank you guys for joining me. Like I said, I think that this is going to be kind of a more regular time slot between 10 and noon, <laughs> depending on how long rehab takes. Mondays are my rehab day and I do PM meds, so I try to get that stuff done early. Good morning, Mary and Mary. <laughs> But it went really good. Um, it's Panicure for Kahira and Birdie, so go figure today is the day they absolutely did not want to separate. I had to call Aaron out. We had to do a little bit of chasing around to get Kahira in a separate section. So this is what Alethea's day looks like. Lakeside grooming. Let's walk down and see how Nala is doing. So everybody got their first dose of panic here today. I was able to get the rehabs all situated. So Autumn and Summer are separated because Autumn gets live, whereas Summer does not today. And Kahira and Birdie get medicated. Also Orpheus and Winter are both still on AM and PM meds. So you have to get them all situated in the right time frame. Hello! Good morning! Morning! We'll go see Nala Bean. She's been really good at just checking everything out and 
Morning, Carrie Ann. Good morning, Betty. Hey, Cheryl. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> well, Beth Ann found Nala. When I checked on her yesterday to see where she was going to be hanging out, she was in the middle of all of her tall grasses. And then I had talked to another keeper and she was like, oh yeah, when I was out here earlier, she was on the platform. Just don't think she's used her Kularu yet. It's kind of in a weird spot. There she is. Hi, Nala Bean. I know. Everybody wanted to know how you were doing out here. She's eating. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, hi Nala. Look how pretty. So she's doing well. Zucari's been out socializing with her. She doesn't seem to care that there's a tiger across the street. Robin. Hey, Katie. Yes, Mary. Mondays are definitely the busy day. Hey, Karen. So, Nala's doing well. She came out here last Thursday. We moved her to what used to be Big Cat Outback. We've given it plenty of time where we've planted a lot of grass seed transplanted a bunch of plants. We moved smaller dens and coolaroos out here. We put in smaller water bowls. And from my understanding, we're gonna try to move one, at least one a week out here till all the servals are out here in a new section. We haven't renamed it yet. So we shall see. Good morning, Denise. Nala loves Beth Ann. I know, you can go say hi to your friend. She's like, you're out here, so no thank you. Nala, Nala you can say hi to Beth Ann. <laughs> Do we have a Zucari somewhere? Nala likes Beth Ann and her husband, Rich. <laughs> she is so cute. I'm glad she's doing good out here. Didn't seem to phase her. Where's your boy neighbor? Where's that boy? I don't know if you'd ever met Zukari before. They were never like near each other. So what do you think of that rowdy boy? My Betty's under his platform over there. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's goofy. You're a little more serious. He's goofy. She's still there. She's still there. I really want to come out here sometime and see her sitting on top of that <laughs> big red ball. <laughs> she used to always like sitting on top of her little like small den, so it's not out of the question. Is there a Zuzu under here? Pretty much if you don't get Zucari before he's got a full belly anymore, you just don't really see him that much. Looking for ears. Well, I don't know. He could be in the big den then. Alright, well we will keep moving along. It is technically Manny Monday, so my goal is to get up to that section of the sanctuary. So Manny Chaos Cyrus checking on the boys in Plantation since I missed that move last week. All right, so you guys can continue sharing, tagging, telling your friends that we're live. We're just gonna, it's kind of a partly cloudy day going on here. pop in and see if Kali is in her den. I see a lot of red poles on the open air roof section cats and I'm thinking it's because it's time to do some mowing. Oh, 
Oh, boo. Okay, she's not in the one I thought, so she's most likely way over there in her big den. Okay. Unless they have her out here for some reason, that would be weird. So we'll just keep walking. <laughs> keep walking till we find a cat. So I know that, oh, Wendy's asking about Stony. Stony, I guess that's what you guys named him, right? No longer exists. So he is not being repaired and no longer here. Um, oh, Coda. So Coda um, <laughs> is continuing to eat in lockout. She doesn't always eat every last bite, but for the most part, she's eating pretty well and totally on her own. And today she even took her panicure like that. Which if you guys remember a few weeks ago, we were treating her then too because she had such a bad case of different kinds of parasites that she came in with. So we've been just nonstop feeling like we're <laughs> deworming that cat constantly. And so she got another round this week as well. And we were all a little like, oh no, she really hated it. She got very picky, but she's doing awesome. So you guys know Simba came home. He's got all of this enclosure that's on the left of me right now. And if I was to guess, he's probably down at the end. Well, assuming he has access to that. I would think so since I just saw the cleaners out there. He absolutely loves the sections down here by staff offices. And he's usually laying upside down somewhere. Yep. <laughs> I see a tiger in there. He like creates his own little hammock. And he's always got his feet propped up. So you guys might be able to see him on his Verkata camera. This black pole right in front of me is a live camera. Should be labeled Simba Tiger. Isn't that funny? You're pretty predictable, sir. If he's not like in that little like tree area, I wish we could <laughs> string up a hammock there, he'd destroy it, but it's a cute idea. Then he's usually laying around in like the palmettos or all the way over by the big red ball. So check out the Verkata camera. I don't know, he might be just out of view, but that's pretty hysterical. All right. Can't walk past Coda and not try to talk to Coda. Let's see where she's at. So she's getting more cameras set up on her enclosure. You can see one is here. I don't know if it's live, but it will point back to the area she likes to be. Hi, pretty. There's Lioness back there. This is her favorite game. She loves to hunker down and hide until you walk up to her. Oh my goodness! We're gonna come say hi! She's so darn cute. Good morning, Marco! So you guys know we've been Kind of mentioning that the first Tuesday in May is one of our biggest fundraising days of the whole year for us here at the sanctuary, BCR Give Day. 
and our focus is going to be around Coda and her rescue. You guys know we always say it costs about $10,000 a year just for feeding a tiger or a lion and basic medical care. That's a lot of money for a cat that could potentially live into her 20s. Hi, honey. Can we just say hi? I don't have any food or anything. This is just a hello visit. Hi, pretty. Hi, honey. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I can crouch down and then you come over. Hi, honey. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I know, it's just me, no food. She's like, that's weird, because when we met, all you were trying to do was shove food in my face. Look at her cowlick, by the way. Isn't that so silly? You have cowlicks all over. Oh, hi, honey. What a sweet lady. Look at that sweet Coda. Yes, you are. Look at that sweet Coda. Yeah. So we'll be sending out all the information that we'll be fundraising for Coda and, of course, the other cats at the sanctuary for the first Tuesday in May. We'll do several lives throughout the day. Right, pretty? Oh my goodness. So we'll be trying to get a nice nest egg for Coda. You know, a lot of people are like, for some reason being hesitant to support Coda, whether it's to sponsor her or to donate towards her because, you know, everyone's like, well, you guys have said she's not a permanent resident. Well, yes, but I mean, you guys saw in the past with like Jinx and Sapphire and Duchess and Jasmine, they were witness protection cats for over four years. That's very expensive. And since we are closed to the public, we still need to fundraise to give this girl the best possible care. Also, you'll see in what Howard wrote up for our BCR Give Day, it's very unlikely for an owner to get an animal back like this after it was confiscated. So we just have to you know, be on the cautious side and understand that it's just out of our hands at this point. But we're hopeful that she'll get to call Big Cat Rescue home forever. So we're being proactive. We're using the universe <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna love her and spoil her just like she's ours, right? Yeah, till it becomes reality someday. So I'm very much hoping yeah, that we'll have a really successful BCR Give Day this year in honor of that face. Look at that face right there. Look at that face. Thank you to everybody who's helping answer questions while I'm pretty much not taking my eyes off of her. <laughs> Still building a very um, cautious relationship. She is a lioness. She can turn on a dime. Thank you very much to everybody who's been donating during this live feed as well. 100% of your donations goes to the care of the cats here. You're so pretty. Look at that pretty face. So gorgeous. So what everybody has to understand is that Coda still has to eat every single day, still gets enrichment, still gets our top of, of the line medical care. And none of that's free. <laughs> we did help the police confiscate her. We were asked to come along to safely transport her and then give her a nice safe place to stay. So, um, you know, of course we're at the mercy of the court system and we did treat her a little bit differently than we have with other witness protection cats in the past, but it had been over two years since we had rescued. So she was a very big deal. She is a very big deal, right? Best give day ever gonna be because of Coda? That's my hopes. We've been testing her out on different kinds of enrichment so that hopefully that day we can give her her first big enrichment, but we'll see. I'm trying to not overwhelm her. I'm trying not to overwhelm. Try not to overwhelm. Yeah, you guys can sponsor Coda at bigcatrescue.biz 
or I see a lot of people saying I'm waiting to donate until give day. That is the first Tuesday in May. Is that the third or the fourth? Can somebody let me know? I have no way to look at a calendar. <laughs> we'll post a fundraiser on Facebook. We will do some lives throughout the day. We'll also be sending emails to our email list and we'll give you more detail as to what um, our goal is. I know that we have a very generous $20,000 match this year. So the earlier you donate, the more likely you are to double your money. And that's all coming up very, very soon. Right, babe? Yeah, if everybody goes back, May 3rd, thanks Deb. If everybody goes back and rewatches the live that I did the night Coda arrived, I very clearly told everybody that we helped the police confiscate her, we'd be housing her, and we would be waiting to see about litigation, that as of this exact moment, um, you know, she was technically not a permanent resident yet, and nothing has changed yet, so I'm not sure where all that got mixed up, but we are keeping you guys in the loop as soon as we know anything, we would let you know. <laughs> so please go back and rewatch that so everybody can be on the same page about this beautiful girl. But we will be raising money for her because again, we, we, had, we had Aria for over a year as witness protection before we knew officially. And the original witness protection cats, Jinx and Jasmine and Duchess and the late Sapphire, that was over four years of waiting. So we wanted to share her and let you guys get to know her and see her ahead of time, as soon as possible. How do you hide something this gorgeous? <laughs> but I need everybody to understand that we've got to take it slow. We're taking it a day at a time and we'll let you guys know when we have more information. That goes for our rehab program as well. Thanks baby. You're so good. You're so good. We, uh, anytime that a, a bobcat might not be deemed releasable by a vet, we have a lot of paperwork and a lot of hoops to go through before we could get um, official residency, assuming that that's what they decide to do. So we are always trying to keep you in the loop. We'll pop over here and see if we can find a Jinx or our Man Monday. Check in with Cyrus and the boys. Yeah, be careful, you can walk right by Jinx. Scary boys. Sneaky and scary. <laughs> Nobody's home today. He's in there. Hi. Hi, bud. There's a chin. I know. I'm, it's going to be very hard to show you in there. Hi, Manny Monday. Hi, Mr. Manny. I know. I don't want to freak you out because it's just a, a phone and not a face. So, all right. Sorry, everybody, but there he is. <laughs> He's like, this is my nap time. And Jinx. I wonder if he's in his den over here. I don't see him on the other side. He is. It's just a den day. I don't think you're going to be able to see him either. There's some feet. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going to be able to show you. All right, boys. I don't blame you. Monday would be a great day to spend the whole day in bed. All right. Well, let's go see Cyrus. See if Nabisco and Flinter around. Get that locked. And then, um, 
Unfortunately, does not seem that Loki is doing very well. Aaron told me this morning that over the weekend he started to go back downhill on not wanting to eat. So we're looking at a couple days in a row of him barely eating again. And I believe we'll be reaching back out to the vets for either a decision or to try something new. But we all knew when he went back outside this last time that we were just gonna have to take it day by day, monitor his quality of life. Hi, Flinster. So I will walk up front and we'll try to find Loki. Hi, sir. Look at that beardo on you. Look at that rough you're getting. My goodness. Where's Biscuit? Is he back here with my boy? Hi. Hi, Cyrus. Come here. Come over here. Actually, I have a, a biscuit. Right in there. Hi, Nabisco. So, more good vibes sent for Loki, please. There's a biscuit in the bush. Oh, he sees the Cyrus. Hi, bud. Hi, handsome. What you been doing? What you been doing? Mr. Cyrus, you've been talking to the boys. You've been talking to Flint this time, huh? Flint's the one hanging out over here. No trills today, I guess. I think he used them all on the boys. <laughs> you saved one for mama. <laughs> Saved one for mom. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Cyrus is a caracal. Nabisco and Flint are bobcats. All of these cats all have very different stories, and you can find all of them featured on our cat bio page bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. And I meant to email about this the other day, Deb, so just as a little note, I don't know that, maybe she is now, but I don't remember if we added Coda to that main page. And then I was wondering if we could add a section for the rehab bios on the cat bio page as well, and then just trade them out. Just be nice if everybody could go to one page if they want to find Orpheus right now or something like that. That's too much trouble. We don't have to, but it'd be nice if all the cat bios were in one page. I'm not even sure where to send people to find the list of the rehab bios. If that's easy, you can also just send me that. <laughs> all right, sweetie. All right. So Flint went over there to lay and stare at Nabisco. You look sleepy. You can find all the cat cameras at bigcatcams.com. So you can see these boys. I, I know they've been hanging out on platforms a lot. Biscuit loves to hang out on those palmettos there. Or you'll see him surprise attack Flint from these grasses. So I don't know if those cameras show that angle or not, but it's always interesting. All right, handsomes. Look at your tongue sticking out. It's not Tuesday. It was not Tuesday. Alright. Love you, buddy. See you later. Ah, <laughs> uh, good to know, Deb. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Alright. So, let's go ahead and this will be the last cat we go try to see. If, of course, if I see anybody obvious along the way up to Loki, but I just wanted you guys to be aware that unfortunately the things we've been trying haven't seemed to help his appetite. So we've all been trying to spend as much time with him, give him as many options as possible. 
it's a shame because we are used to cats living into their 20s here, but hybrids in general are just so notorious for some of the craziest health issues and their genetics are just all wacky. And oftentimes what their body needs as a wild cat is the proper kind of diet. And when they're raised on a crappy cat food kibble, there's a woodpecker on a metal fence. <laughs> there you go, there's a tree. It can definitely lead to kidney disease and all kinds of issues, so. There's only so much we can do. We ask the cats to always give us clear signs of what they need. And <laughs> Ginger on top of her platform. Way up there. Hi, Gigi. Just passing by. don't really have anything new about Val right now either. She's doing well. She has started eating in lockout, just not always right away. Seems to be healing fine. She's got her favorite spot in her ferns, which you can almost always find her. But you usually see like an eyeball. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it'd be great if, if Loki wants to eat, like, a whole plate of food today. But, yeah, and I don't have any update as far as... Oh, it looks like Nisha's over at Loki. I don't want to interrupt, but... Nisha's our coordinator today, so I want to make sure I don't interrupt if she's trying to get in to eat some food. Um... But yeah, I don't really have any updates on Val or Tut. Tut seems to be responding well to the medication, eating pretty well. There's a plate of food over here. I'm not going to linger for long, but I at least want you guys to see him. I wanted you guys to know what was going on. Loki. Loki's a hybrid. He's about 12 or so years old. Unfortunately, having some typical hybrid health problems. Do you feel icky, sir? Yeah. Everybody, over 300 people are sending you good vibes, my love. Yeah. Three, 300 people saying... You want to eat your breakfast? So sweet. Alright, love bug. Well, thank you guys for joining me this morning. Thank you for all the donations. If you're looking for a list of cats that we have here, bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. Show you around the 40 some permanent residents plus the um, six, right? Two, four, five, six bob rehab bobcats that we have. Bigcatrescue.org slash cat bio. You can watch them 
live 24-7 at bigcatcams.com. You can sponsor them, bigcatrescue.biz. And you can rewatch these lives. There are thousands of them <laughs> from over the years at dailybigcat.com. They post automatically on Facebook and Big Cat Rescue's Twitter page. Alright, sweet boy, I'm gonna let you get back to your plate of food. If you guys see off to the side of him, he's got a little plate of food. That's why there's flies right now, because they want the food. So, good vibes for Lokesters. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a great start to your week. Um, tomorrow I will be volunteering, so my hope is, weather permitting, I'll see you guys Wednesday and Thursday.